Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Tunzi, who's most famous for their wave boxes and their stream pumps, has added a new addition to their nano stream line, the 6095. Now, the 6095 has what they call are calling wide flow. It has a bigger output nozzle that I'll show you in a minute. So we're going to take a close-up look at the 6095 and then put it on this 185-gallon tank to see just how wide the flow is. First up, let's have a look at the 6095 before we get it wet. The 6095 has a flow range of between 550 and 2500 gallons per hour. Energy consumption is a modest 5 to 21 watts. The 6095 attaches to your tank via Tunzi's famous finger-crushing magnet mount. Tunzi has added rubber vibration pads to the mount to help prevent any possible vibration from the pump resonating through your aquarium, thereby making the silent 6095 noisy and driving you nuts. Tunzi claims the 6095 is a wide flow pump, and from the looks of the increased propeller size and the increased output nozzle, I'm believing what I'm hearing so far. Talk is cheap though, so let's put the pump in a tank and see what we get. The test tank for the 6095 is a 185 gallon LPS dominant tank. Dimensions are 60 inches by 30 inches by 24 inches. To test the wide flow pattern of the 6095, I'm going to put one pump on one side of the tank about halfway down and point the output nozzle straight out. I'm going to watch the surface of the water to see how far away from the pump that the surface of the water gets disturbed. Positioning the pump halfway down the glass slightly disturbed the water's surface. However, moving the pump up about three inches produced drastically different results as the water surface is clearly in motion at a distance of about eight inches away from the pump. That means the flow out of the 6095 looks something like this. In other words, really wide. Not only is the flow pattern wide, but it is also long. Check out this frog spawn coil on the opposite side of the tank from the single 6095. It's getting moved around even though the pump is nearly 60 inches away. Two conclusions to draw at this point. The flow out of the 6095 is plenty wide and it's carried a good distance even across this 5 foot tank. In my test, I found the 6095s to be almost completely silent and they were much more silent than the old 6045s that were on this test tank before. The 6095 is a variable speed pump, which means you can dial up or dial down the flow to your liking. And when you pair them up with Tunzi's 7095 or 7096 controller like this one, you can create any kind of flow pattern that you want. Now the 7096 is all controllable and configurable through your computer. So let's have a quick look at the software. The 7096 is capable of controlling up to four variable speed Tunzi pumps. There's an integrated feed timer now, night mode, feed mode, and storm cycles are also included. The food timer can be set to any amount of time that you like, and the storm cycle is used to stir up any detritus or sediment that has settled on your rocks so that it can be swept away into your sump. And the 7096 connects to your computer via USB connections. Speaking of computers, for you Mac guys out there, I'm happy to report that Tunzi does have a Mac native version of this software available. Props to Tunzi for supporting Macs. The included software for the 7096 has three distinct modes. Pulse mode, interval mode, and sequential mode. Pulse mode ramps up or down the speed of the pumps over a specific length of time, but it does not completely turn off the pumps. Interval mode will turn on and off sets of pumps to create surge-like flow. To put it another way, in interval mode, pumps one and two will be on, while pumps three and four are off. After the interval time that you specify, Pumps one and two will turn off, and pumps three and four will turn on. Sequential mode turns on and off each pump in succession to create a cumulative effect of each pump adding to the total flow in your tank. Random motion can be achieved in sequential mode as not only will the pumps be turned on and off in succession, the 7096 will randomly choose between the upper and lower power setting. Keep in mind, each mode for the 7096 lets you set the maximum and minimum speed of the pumps. This is particularly useful to make sure you don't blast off those corals for those of you with smaller tanks. The 7096 also contains controls down to the fraction of a second for those of you who want to create a standing wave in your tank. There is also an auto-tune function that lets the 7096 do the heavy lifting to dial in the wave on your tank. And for those of you who already have a Tunzi wave box, the 7096 will control the wave box, which means that you'll have one less control box under your tank. 
I like that you can back up your pump settings and you can upload a pump setting based on a data file. That means you can share your data files with your Read Junkie buddies and have a backup of your settings on hand just in case. One important thing to keep in mind about the 6095 is that the magnet on it, the stock magnet that comes out of the box, it's only rated up to half inch glass. So if you have a larger tank, glass over one half inch, then you're gonna wanna upgrade and get a stronger magnet. Now in our tank, we have over one half inch glass. I think this glass is about five eighths of an inch thick. Now the magnet still held it, but if we were making an extreme angle with the 6095, the magnet got a little weak. So again, if you go in half inch glass or down, stick with the stock magnet. If you have a larger tank, half inch glass or larger, you're gonna to wanna to upgrade that magnet. But overall, the 6095 is another great addition to the Tunsley line, and I really like that this is a nano stream pump for smaller tanks. They're not just focusing on the big boys. They're gonna take care of your nano types as well. When you add in the various speed capabilities and the controllability when you pair it up with one of the Tunsley controllers, and you have a small pump that kicks out plenty of flow, a nice wide flow, and you can dial in any unique flow pattern that you want. I'm Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank. This has been Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Till next time, have a good one, enjoy your tanks, and know your tank personality.